Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I am on a roll with these videos. You should be proud of me, literally. <laughs> but hey guys, so from the title of this video, you will tell this is my yearly video that I do every single year. Thanks to Jade Marie and Dawn Louise from Archer Adventures. I always give them a shout out because they came up with this idea and they were happy for me to use it years ago. So I've been doing it every, every single year since. So thank you to them too. I will link their channel down in the description like always. And make sure you check them out because they are amazing. And yeah, so this video is going to be a me at 30 because by the time you're watching this, I would have turned 31 which is so, so scary. Like, I still look about 12. Um, but yeah, so I am going to be doing this video because mm, it's actually scary that it was my birthday. When you're watching this, I think it was the day before this video was live. Yeah, so this is going live on the 21st of January and my birthday is the 20th, so it would have been yesterday for you guys. Um, For me, it's not for another two weeks at least. I'm filming the summer 4th of January, but I'm being prepared. Um, but yeah, because I'm trying to get a backlog of, backlog of videos. So I've got a video for each week for you guys because I'm trying to make more of an effort this year. One of my New Year's resolutions is to try and upload every single week. So that is what I'm trying to do. So yeah, so it'll be my birthday the day before you're watching this which is absolutely crazy. I still can't believe I'm like in my thirties. It's actually scary. I actually don't like it. <laughs> I feel like I should still be like 18. <sighs> I still can't believe I'm gonna be 31. That's actually crazy. Anyway, so I watched my last year's video back and I wrote down the questions that I use every single year from that video, just so I could do this video for you guys, because that is dedication. <laughs> and also, I'm sorry, I'm really not comfortable. And also, it's always fun to like look back at the videos to see kind of what the answers were last year, if that makes sense. And this year, it's not gonna be out of focus for the majority of it because I didn't realize last time. So I hope, and well, I'm gonna try and make sure it's not out of focus. But yeah, so I have the questions on my phone and I'm going to answer them now. So let's get into the video. So the first question is, what was your favourite TV show as a 30 year old? Now, I don't watch TV, I watch Netflix majority of the time. And I've watched so much Netflix. Oh my god, there was one that... I'm in the middle of re-watching Stranger Things, I'm actually on season 4 and I've only been watching it for a few days. I've been, been binge watched it. But, let's have a look. There's one that I really, really enjoyed. I've been yeah let's find it i'm trying to find it i can't remember what it was called but it's absolutely amazing it's getting closer oh not that it? oh no that one is it is that one i think no it's not i can't find it well there is one actually that i found that i did really really enjoy and that was um because me my sister like recommended it to me as i watched like the first few and i was going to recommend it to her so we found it at the same time and it's really really good and i'm not happy that it's ended like it has i want the next series to come out if there is going to be a next series there has to be a next series because i'm not going to be happy if there's not it's called my life with the walter boys <laughs> i got tongue tied the first time i said it and I absolutely loved it. It's actually amazing. And if you've not seen it, you should do because I totally recommend it. It's really, really good. And like I say, I'm not gonna be happy if there's not another season, like a season two or more episodes to come out for that season. I'll be really, really sad. There is obviously so much more that I watched that I just can't remember the names of, but yeah. So <laughs> that is the one that I'm gonna answer for that question. Now, question number two is a favourite film as a 30 year old. Now, I've watched so many films. I've rewatched Harry Potter's. Oh, actually, I went to the cinema. I'm going to say my two cinema films. I didn't watch Barbie, so Barbie's not one of them. Um, I'm hoping that I can watch that when that comes out on like Netflix or TV or things like that. But I 
watched the hunger games the new one that's like four hours long or something stupid like that that was really really good it's just very very long and realistically i think they should have stopped it after each chapter because if you've seen it it goes like chapter one chapter two chapter three so on um and they could have easily made them into different films so i think that it is a bit long but i absolutely love the film i also went to see wonka and wonka was absolutely amazing so they're the two that I'm going to say are my favourites, but there were so many films that I watched on Netflix as well that it's impossible for me to pick my favourite. So I'm going to go with Wonka and Hunger Games. Question number three, favourite song as a 30 year old. Now I love so many songs, but something that stuck out to me this year whilst I've been 30 has actually been Rob from Chasing Day, his song called Diamonds in the Rafters. I absolutely love it. It's such a catchy song and I think everybody should check it out because it's amazing and yeah, it's so good live. I've seen him perform it live as well. Um, but yeah, I love so many songs, but that's just the one that stuck out to me this year whilst I've been 30. Number four is what am I doing for my birthday? Now, I was very struggling on what I should do because it's not really like a special birthday or anything, but I decided that um at the moment i've only got plans with my family my mum my dad and my sister and we are going to go bowling um they're coming up here to where me and my sister live and we're going bowling and then we're also going for a meal and yeah i haven't really got anything else planned other than that but that could change closer to the time and i might go out with some friends but who knows <laughs> but at the moment it's just bowling and a meal number five is what i wish i was doing for my birthday and this is going to be my answer answer every single year until it happens i wish i was in disneyland or disney world that is like my dream birthday so yeah it's going to be that answer every single every single year until it happens <laughs> hint hint guys hint number six is favorite past birthdays and i've always mentioned this one i've always loved my 21st birthday party but I've got another one to add as well and that's got to be my last year's birthday because we went on an amazing spa day. My mum and dad treated me to it. I absolutely did. It was so re relaxing and it's something that I love doing. So that and also the other stuff that I did with that as well because I went to the travel centre shopping. I also went out with friends. I went for a meal with my family and it was just a really, really amazing birthday and I absolutely loved it. So the th my 30th and my 21st birthday party were my two favourite birthdays so far. Number seven is things I've done this year that I'm proud of. And I'm proud of pretty much everything. <laughs> That's so like cliche. Um, but yeah, the one thing that I'm actually proud of is my training for work. Because I actually did an exam and I passed it. And that's one of the things that I was worried about doing. I know I've got loads more exams to do for it. But that is something that I'm proud of because I've never really been good with exams. So I was very, very nervous about doing it. And I'm glad I've done one. And I'm proud of that. And I'm also proud of the fact that I've been saving as well. So I've got some money behind me. I know that last year, not last year, the year before was the middle of like the living crisis and stuff like that. And I'd obviously moved out into my flat and I was struggling a little bit. And I'm really proud that I've got some money behind me now because I didn't let it defeat me, which is really, really good. And yeah, so that's probably my things that I've been proud of. Um, and yeah. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> oh, I also got a bit of a new role in my job as well. So I'm also proud of that. And yeah, that's all I can really say, I think. That's all I can think of at the moment anyway. But yeah, so proud. Number eight is things I currently love. And apart from the obvious of like family and friends and things like that, I still love my job. I still love the flat that I'm living in. I still love doing YouTube. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. I think I'm done. Yeah. I think. I never know the sneeze once. I think we're okay. Um, and I also love... I can feel another one coming. I think we're good. I also love um, the con all the concerts that I went to and hanging out with friends. And basically just everything. <laughs> I love everything. I just love everything. I love all my clothes I've been wearing. I, yeah, just, I basically just love everything about 
the, the whole year to be honest. Number nine is what was my current style as a 30 year old and anything comfy apart from my work uniform but anything comfy is so like joggers, leggings, fluffy leggings, hoodies, um, snooty, um, pyjamas, pretty much anything that's comfy is I've it's been my style and like my night care forces, my feelers, um, my fake hugs from Primark. <laughs> but they're so comfy, like I can't complain. So yeah, pretty much anything that's comfy and snuggly, I've absolutely loved wearing and that was my style for being 30 because you can't beat being comfy. And then my last one is number 10 and that is my hopes and dreams for the future and I just want to carry on doing what I'm doing because I absolutely love my life at the moment and yeah I just love going concerts, love going on adventures, love where I live, love my job, love everything about my life at the moment which is really really good. I don't really, really want anything to change apart from the fact that I would love my own house which is what I mentioned last year but I still love in I'm still loving living in my flat, so I can't really complain. If it happens that I get the money for a house, then that is an absolute bonus. But other than that, I'm loving living here and everything else. So that is it. That's the end of my little video for you guys. I'm gonna be 31. That is actually crazy. But hey ho, I still look about 10, so it's a bonus. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all all having a really good new year I am so far um, and yeah I just can't believe I'm, I'm gonna be 31 that's crazy where has it's gone the years between 18 and 31 has gone so fast do you know what I think we should just knock our birthdays off if we had them in lockdown thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and again a massive thank you for to Archer's Adventures so Jane Marie and Dawn Louise for coming up with this idea a while back and yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know any suggestions down in the comment section below and yeah if you are new hit the subscribe button because why not <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another video bye